So now I'd like to carry on with this light box and what I have done as you can see here is I have now vector layers. As you can see the vector pack there it has a tick next to it. This is because I have gone onto the website and bought a vector pack. So I'm going to show you why this is useful and how to use this in order to cut this part out. So I'm going to select these folding lines and I'm going to right click on those and click move vectors to and I'm going to select a new layer and here you can see that's created vector layer 2. So I'm going to change the colour of that to say red and I'm going to change the name of it as well to grooves. There we have a layer which just has these parts on there. So for instance if you had hundreds of drill holes some of them were 3 mil, some of them were 6 mil you could have these on separate layers and I'll, sh I'll show you this when we get to machining later so I'm just going to turn that off there you can see all that's left is what's on my default layer so I'll select the outside and I'm going to move that to another new layer and I'll change the colour of that to say blue and I'm going to rename that to profile and I'll turn that off as well and here you can see it's just left me with the holes I'm going to move those to a new layer as well and I'm going to rename that to holes and I'll change the colour of that to green if I click this light bulb here turn everything off click it again it will turn everything back on so there we have a light box that is set up now for when I start machining I can actually select the layers to machine and not have to worry about selecting any objects so they are all set up to layers this is also useful if you'd like to create a template so let's say for instance you were creating lots of different varieties of particular parts and you had the template set up that every hole that you brought into it it would go to the green holes layer and then you could just have a template for the tool paths and you wouldn't have to worry about creating tool paths for every different part so I'll show you how to machine this later on in the tutorials